UK property investments in 2019, our ultimate guide to everything you need to know about investing in UK property throughout 2019. In the next instalment of our Ultimate Guide series, we delve into the UK property market. The UK property market was somewhat slow throughout 2018, with the effects of Brexit having a negative effect on the market. Many will no doubt shy away from investing altogether in UK assets amid fear that investments will continue to fall in value. Data recently released from the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors draws attention to this. With less property for sale, deals taking a long, longer period of time to complete and property staying on the market for substantially longer than previous years. So what is the outlook for 2019? Unfortunately, there looks to be a similar trend going forward, particularly in the first half of the year. The market will inevitably continue. Unfortunate scenarios in debt and death results in property naturally entering the market. With a continued rise in students going to university and increasing numbers of people moving for employment, there will always be some demand for property. However, buyers will find they have less options in the market. With tighter lending criteria on mortgages, the purchase of property continues to be an uphill struggle for most. More homeowners are now looking at renovating and extending their existing homes than looking elsewhere. For this reason, the property market is likely to continue treading water. It wasn't all bad news, however. We saw economic growth in cities such as Manchester and Liverpool, with a general trend emerging of high growth in the north. London house prices, however, saw a fall in value. The price in London could drop by 5% next year, but rise elsewhere. At a hyper-local level, the performance of a score or a prevalence of crime can affect prices. Brexit is cited to be a major reason for the fall in value. Rick's prices overall were unanimous in blaming Brexit and saying that the uncertainty caused by the Brexit process has caused buyers and sellers to sit tight in increasing numbers. House prices will fall by as much as 30% from a pre-Brexit level if we are to see a disorderly Brexit. And house prices could fall by as much as 14% this year alone, according to forecasts by the Bank of England. The effects of the dreaded B word are abundantly clear. It is highly unlikely that we will see a recovery post-Brexit either, with those holding property assets abroad also facing uncertainty. Young people that are aiming to get onto the property ladder will also have a hard time of this. As we've mentioned previously, there are stricter lending criteria when it comes to taking out a mortgage. And when combined with higher turnover and a lack of security and employment, saving for a house is ultimately out of reach for most. Especially those in big cities with high property prices this speaks volumes when first-time buyers were actually the most active on the market in 2018. One in 10 buyers received support from government help to buy schemes, increasing this demographic's likelihood to buy. However, recent forecasts have found that over 50% of those between the ages of 18 to 40 are due to be renting privately owned property by 2025 with one third of those predicted to never buy a house. Could this be an opportunity for property buyers targeting the increasing demographic? Leading global property experts Savills have recently predicted that capital growth will account for just 50% of those returns across the UK property to 2023. That's 10% lower than the start of 2018 and noticeably down on the average 55% share we've seen over the past 10 years. Income returns are predicted to rise 70% of total returns. This highlights the importance of rental returns over the appreciating value of a property. You of course have to consider the unpredictability of the 
current political situation. The housing market is particularly difficult to anticipate. Nobody is able to accurately predict how the coming year will unfold. So what property type should you be considering? It is easy to get into the mindset that the only property investments available to you are residential. Thinking more broadly, there are many opportunities to turn a profit when focusing on alternative property assets. To do this, we need to focus on the importance of supply and demand in the current market. Urban Logistics has for a second year running had the highest forecast returns in the property sector. Annual returns are predicted to be as high as 10% until 2024. The sector has attracted significant investment off the back of major rental growth over the past few years, spiking growth in the sector. We have a forecast under supply of grade A office space in London in the very near future. There is expected to be high growth in the sector with repricing emerging in the retail sector. Opportunities are likely to suffice over the next 12 months that are worth keeping an eye on. Demand in the build to rent sector will continue to see increased growth over the coming year. And this is largely due to the consistent returns and familiarity in the market. The sector is an attractive one, delivering competitive returns by operating at a larger scale and with the overwhelming demand for private rentals. The sector is a great investment opportunity. So to summarize on the face of it, the UK property market would appear to be best avoided due to political and economical uncertainty surrounding the country. However, by delving deeper into the market, there are opportunities to be had. When seeking value in the market, identify an investment that is receiving growth and is also in a high demand area. Think of the North. Consider also diversifying your property investments. Putting all of your metaphorical eggs into one basket is ill-advised. Consider investing in a variety of property types. If this is within your means to do so, as this will spread the risk of losing money on a single investment. The property market, as stated, will be difficult to forecast in the coming year. Focus more so on the long-term strategy and with the advice we've given, we're confident you'll make a long-term return.